Okay, so as we're talking about properties of equality when solving equations or inequalities, we're going to put on the left side what will be in the equation or inequality, and on the right side, we're going to say what we do to whoops, both sides. Whether it's an equation or an inequality, it's like a scale that we have to keep balanced. If we do it on one side, we have to do it to the other, other side. side. So when I see addition, what's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. So when I see addition, I do subtraction. And it might seem silly to write the opposite, but we're going to because this is another property of equality. When I see subtraction, I do addition. When I see multiplication, I do division. And when I see division, I do multiplication. We're going to do a sample problem with that on the very next page, keeping these e properties of equality in mind. So let's turn the page to the next problem, which is saying in our book to use algebra tiles to model it, but we're just going to model it. We're just going to show how to solve this. So let's rewrite this equation. 2x plus 3 equals 15. We want to get that x isolated or by itself, but we first need to take care of any number that's not connected to the x. And what do I see right here? Three. What kind of a 3? Positive. Positive 3 or plus 3, which is addition. And so what are we going to do? And we have to do it to both sides. Positive 3 and negative 3 equal 0. So what am I left with on my left side? 2x, because these zeroed out, but this is still here, right? And then I have 15 minus 3 is? 12. All right, my problem isn't finished. I still have that x connected to a number, and it's connected by multiplication. So to undo it, what am I going to do? And I have to divide 2 out of both sides. 2 divided by 2 is an invisible 1, so our x stays positive x. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And how do we check it? Yeah, we're going to plug it back in and we're going to start with multiplication. So our original problem was 2 times x, and we think x is 6, so we're going to plug the 6 in, plus 3 equals 15. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 3, and so what we want to see is 15 equals 15, and that tells us that it checked. So here we saw addition, and we used... Oops, sorry, thank you. Um, I had addition and we used subtraction. We had multiplication and we used division. And we, since we did both of those things to both sides of the equal sign, we were able to come up with our answer. We plugged it back in to make sure that it works, and so now we know that x has to be 6.